Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Come, we're gonna tithe. Am any special offering? Just come. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Come, we're gonna simu to make our number. Allah fuku jana simu yako. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus, my son. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. Open heaven is your portion in the name of Jesus. I do again on a second name and left ni lefty. Amen. Amen. Anybody with your tithe, any special offering? Hallelujah. You are giving his blessed in the name of Jesus. You are giving his blessed in the name of Jesus. I have three services in one. So I don't know where to start from. Amen. How many services? <clears throat> we have to pray for the Joseph of families. Amen. And uh, there are yokes that must be broken. And then we have communion to share. <clears throat> and maybe there can be four because I may also prophesy. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So maybe, maybe, maybe I start with the main and then at the end I will pray for every Joseph of the family and I will show you mysteries. It is a whole sermon. The Lord changed my message this morning. I wanted to preach about the Joseph last Sunday. God said no. I want to preach about it today. God said no. So I'm, I'm, I just pray for you. But I will show you a few things. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them I'm anointed. Or oh, you're not talking, talk to your neighbor, tell them, I am anointed. Just in case they're not aware, just in case they're not aware, just tell them, as you see me like this, I'm anointed. Are you happy? Tomorrow, you, you need to talk to me tomorrow. Eh? Eh? There's a day I was calling Eunice, but she didn't pick. I wanted to connect him to somebody. Eh? So make sure Kesha I'm in your village. Look at your neighbor one more time. Tell them, I am anointed. Tell them, I'm too anointed. No, talk like a prophet, like a prophetess. Tell them, I'm too anointed to be shaken. To be broken, to be interfered with, to be tied in one place. I'm anointed. Nimepakwa mafuta. Chapter 10, verse 27 of Isaiah. Let me show you something. Chapter 10, verse 7 of Isaiah. Maybe if you can read from King James, I mean from Amplified Version. And then we will also read from New King James Version. There is a man God will connect you with. There is a man that God will connect you with. This man will connect you to a business in another country. And I saw, and I saw, I saw them giving you money you have not touched before. And this is not somebody you have known before. Is a new is a new connection. Is a fresh connection. Fresh connection. And it's money you have never touched before. And the Lord told me it's because of the wrist watch he gave on the altar. It was a small something. But it was significant. God is going to fast track. So shall it be. Wow. 
So shall it be in Jesus' name. That's powerful. Steve is even giving more testimonies of things he gave. You know that there was particular. He gave three times. He gave money. He went back. Gave wristwatch. Went back. And I gave again. Meaning it was not in the amount. It was in the heart. And the Lord has recognized that. And the Lord has released a blessing. Now we have to continue that way because now you have started. Let me try to dance. Shout power. power. Glory to Jesus. Now let's read from chapter number 10, the verse is 27. Pastor Dan, maybe you read for us now. Now that Christine has taken over your work, now you can come back. Amen. Amen. 10, we read Amplified, and then we also read from New King James. Amen. Amen. Of Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah kumi, kwanzia mstari wa saba. No, 20, 27, yes. Verse 27. Are you reading from Amplified? King James, yeah. New King James, New King James, New King James. Oh, do do amplify. Okay, give me amplified favor if you have it. Then pass a, use my says, use my New King James. Okay, amplify. Amplified says. It says. Verse twenty-seven. Uh huh. And it shall be in that day uh, that the burden of the Assyrian shall depart from your shoulders. It shall be that day. Just it, Pastor. Just it, yes. It shall be that day. That the burden of the Assyria shall be taken from your shoulder. So follow it carefully. It means this yoke belongs to somebody. The yoke of the Assyria. Okay, take it again now. And it shall be in that day uh -huh. that the burden of the Assyrian shall depart from your shoulders. Amplified qualifies that this burden belongs to somebody. But it is on us. Uh-huh. And his yoke from your neck. And the yoke of the Assyrians shall be taken from your neck. Uh-huh. The yoke shall be destroyed because of fatness which prevents it from going around your neck. Now hold it there. Amplified say the yoke shall be broken because of fatness. Kunona. So don't go and say, Papa said now I can grow fat. Now me, they grow. Because the more fat I am, the more yokes I'm breaking. <laughs> no. no. No, 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 it means it means you grow fat in anointing. You grow fat in anointing. Am I communicating now? Amen. Okay, give me New King James of the same. God bless you. And it shall come to pass in that day. It shall come to be that day. That the burden will be taken away from your shoulder. The burden of the Assyrian shall be taken from your shoulder. And his yoke from your neck. Uh-huh. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Amplified say when you grow fat. New King mm -hmm. James said because of what? Somebody say anointing oil. Anointing oil. Preach together with me. Say anointing oil. Mafuta. Say ma mafuta. Mafuta. Now the yoke is broken because of the anointing oil. Nira inavunjika kwa sababu ya mafuta. Scientists they say. Wana sayansi wana sema. Just translate it. Don't worry. Just sit for translate. <coughs> but you move with my pace so that I, I'm, I'm not. I don't struggle. Amen. <coughs> the scientist says. When science, when sema, when oil is applied. Wakati mafuta yamepakwa mahali. The friction become less. We uh, ule. Kungangano. Eh? Kungangana kuna kuna pungua. Friction become less. Kungangana kuna pungua. And if there was something that was, even if you have a ring, 
I don't have mine today. Na hata kama una pete and your ring has stuck in your hand. Na pete imekwama kwenye kidole chako. You put oil to help you to try get it out. Ukipaka mafuta itatoka kwa wepesi. Why? Kwa nini? Because oil reduces friction. Kwa sababu mafuta yanapunguza ule umu. So the more anointed you are, jinsi unavyokuwa na mafuta kwa wingi, the less friction you have. Ndio maana unakosa ule ugumu. The more anointed you are, unapokuwa na mafuta kwa wingi, the less struggle you have. Hautangangana sana. Am I communicating now? Amen. He said because of the anointing oil. Ya mafuta, anointing in this case is significant. Mafuta hapa iko na maana yake. Amen. Is a symbol is a symbol of the Holy Ghost. Inaashiria Roho Mtakatifu. So it's not the oil itself. Sio mafuta tu mafuta. Amen. Amen. Now today every yoke that has been upon your neck upon your shoulder shall be broken leo kila nira ambayo imekuwa juu yako inavunjika every yoke shall be broken today kila nira itavunjika leo as every yoke shall be broken today nasema kila nira itavunjika i say every yoke shall be broken today nasema kila nira itavunjika leo now what is a yoke je nira ni nini a yoke is something that the devil uses to hinder you from getting to your destination nira ni kitu ambacho shetani anatumia kukuzuia kufika kwenye hatima yako a yoke is something the devil uses to hinder you from getting to your destiny nira ni kitu ambacho shetani anatumia kukuzuia kufika kwenye hatima yako the devil knows he cannot stop your destiny Shetani anajua hawezi zuia hatima yako. But it can affect and stop you from getting to your destiny. Lakini anaweza adhiri na akuzuia kufikia hatima yako. It can interfere with your journey of going there. Anaweza kukuzuia safari yako ya kwenda kule. So that you don't get there. Ili usifike huko. So he brings a yoke. Kwa hivyo analeta nira. Hey, today that yoke must be broken. Leo hiyo nira inavunjika. I don't like a man. I say that yoke must be broken.
fulani until you have eaten all the grass around your life kula nyasi yote pale every grass that you can access you have eaten kila nyasi ambao unaweza fikia and that's why you are starving today ndio maana una njaa siku ya leo you are limited to how far you can go hauwezi fika umbali wowote the yoke cannot allow you to out, to go out of the cycle nira haiwezi kakuruhusu uende mbali na wewe am i communicating here je naongelesha mtu the thing you can see siku ile utakapoona ile unaona yale ambayo unaona is is the is the struggle around ni kungangana tu hapo karibu but the yoke has tied you in one place lakini nira imekufunga mahali pamoja that you have taken loan from every bank you can access umechukua mikopo kila benki you have borrowed every friend you know umeomba kila mgeni rafiki you have taken every savings you had umechukua kila eh, kila saving because of what kwa sababu ya nira ayoko have you realized you get to a place sit down you get to a place nobody can pick your calls again and help you umewahi fikiria kwamba umefika mahali hakuna mtu anaweza shika simu yako tena simu zote umepiga umejaribu you have <laughs> there are people you box you text them they they blue tick you kuna watu ukiwa andikia ujumbe wana blue tick you call they don't pick like this end month unapiga simu hawashiki now that this is an end month tumefika mwisho wa mwezi if they see you are called they can interpret your prayer wakiona unapiga simu wanajua chenye unaomba without you talking bila wewe kuongelesha this is what that she's calling wanajua unaona hapo vile anapiga i hope it's not rent again na na naomba si pesa ya nyumba i hope it's not food again naomba si chakula nataka there is a yoke kuna nira I said that yoke is breaking. Hiyo nira inavunjika. I said that yoke is breaking. Hiyo nira inavunjika. There is somebody here God is changing your location. Kuna mtu hapa Mungu anabadilisha njia zake. I said there is somebody God is changing your location. Kuna mtu Mungu anabadilisha mahali pako. As I'm talking you are in a village setup. Ninapoongea uko katika kijiji. But God is taking you to the Jerusalem. Lakini Mungu anakupeleka Yerusalemu. He is taking you to your Jerusalem. Anakupeleka kwa Yerusalemu yako. Your Jerusalem may not be the original Jerusalem. Yerusalemu yako inaweza kuwa inaweza kosa kuwa ile Yerusalemu. Your Jerusalem may be somewhere in Ohio. Inaweza kuwa ni Ohio. Somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. Inaweza kuwa ni Atlanta. Somewhere in Dubai. Inaweza kuwa Dubai. Somewhere in London. Inaweza kuwa London. Shout I receive it. Napokea. After today you are not only going to be the best you are going to be the first. Baada ya leo hautakuwa tu mzuri lakini utakuwa wa kwanza. You thought you thought somebody has touched money in your family. Ulifikiria kuna mtu ameshika pesa kwa maisha yako. There is a dimension God is going to release after this service. Kuna ile hali Mungu anachilia kwa baada ya ibada hii. Look at your neighbor tell them what this space. Angalia jirani yako mwambie niangalie vizuri. Watch this space. Niangalie vizuri. Because you have driven a old V8. Give us space. Because of the old Range Rover, give us space. The 2024 version is about to come out. When people used to brag, I was the first one to drive. When you land, they will correct that mistake. They will change their statement. Am I communicating here? Amen. If anybody ever flew, they went to Tanzania. Kama kuna mtu amewahi enda amepanda ndege, alienda tu Tanzania. Hapa tu Mwanza karuti. And they want to give you stress. I know with us we travel. With us we travel. When you are on travel don't land. Kaya taparaka tasatakata. When you are on don't land. You tell them you know I'm passing by Germany. Unasema unajua napitia Germany. I'll, I'll take few days and I and are you communicate are you my communicate? Yes, church. Are you what I say here? Yes. When you come see the visas put come and put that passport on the order if you have your own passport here come and put on the passport yako leta uweke kwa madhabahu you are believing go for money come and put your atm on this order leta atm yako kwenye madhabahu or your phone just come and put it on the order ama simu yako njo uilete kwenye madhabahu whatever it is just come and place it and leave it there ambacho uko nacho leta tu uwekelee kwenye madhabahu there is a grace i'm releasing now una neema ambayo unaachilia just leave it there leave it there waachilia pale there is a grace i'm releasing now Whatever tied your finances. Kilichofunga pesa zako. Whatever tied your doors. Kilichofunga milango yako. Whatever tied your marriage. Kilichofunga ndoa yako. Whatever tied your healing. Kilichofunga kuwe kupona kwako. By the finger of God. Kupitia kwa nguvu za Mungu. Place it on the altar. Wekelea kwenye madhabahu. Shababa bago sana badaka. Just leave it on the altar. Hey. Rise up on your feet. Rise 
to heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I kneel on the altar, any door that was locked because of a, a yoke, any opportunity that was blocked, any connection that was blocked, any marriage that was blocked, by the finger of God, as I lay my hands on the altar, I release every car. I release every house. I release every job. Every promotion. Every testimony. In the name of Jesus. As they pick these things back. Let the international doors be open. Let the finances be open. Let the miracle be open. In the name of Jesus. I speak an end. Of every delay, every evil cycle, in the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. As you pick your phone, your ID, your ticket, your your passport, your your ATM. Let that miracle that has been delayed be released as you take it back. As you pick it, just say, I receive my testimony. Come back and pick it prophetically. Come and pick it prophetically. your testimony. I see the chains falling. I see the chains falling. I hear the chains Sit down. First Peter chapter two, verse number nine. Let me show you something. First Peter chapter two, verse number nine. Everybody, you, wait, everybody, wait, everybody, you got back your phone. Everybody. Are we okay? Yes. Everybody, everybody got back. Yes. Okay. First Peter 2, verse, verse number nine. 9. It says, uh -huh. But you are chosen race. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. A dedicated nation. A chosen people. God's own purchased. God own purchase. Special people. Special. Leave it there. Look at your neighbor. Tell them I'm special. I'm special. Ah. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Look at somebody. Tell them I'm special. I'm special. 
It means if I have to receive everything, it must be special. If your testimony must come to the altar, it must be special. If you must go back to the village after this preaching, you must go special way. If you have to stand and praise God in a special way, you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. You are not like them. That's why I said you may not be the first, but you be the you may not be the first, but you be the best, and you become the first in this new dimension. When your own lands, when your own will land. Wakati yako itafika, everybody will talk about it. Kila mtu ataongelea. Ah, you don't hear what I say. Aujasikia nilichokisema. I say when your own miracle will land. When your own testimony will land. When your own breakthrough will land. Even them that thought they made it, they will talk about it. Hata wale walifikiria wamefaulu wataongelea juu yako. You are not ordinary. Wewe sio wa kawaida. You are purchased. Umenunuliwa. Uh, no, not free. Meaning a price has been paid. If you must drive, your own must be special. If you must buy a house, your house must be special. If you must wed, your wedding must be special. Your house must be special. Everything about you must be because you are peculiar. You are peculiar. You are special. You are not an ordinary person. There is something unique about your life. They may go ahead of you. But when you arrive, can I show you something? Come here, come here. Sit down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now be the donkey for today. And I will show you the benefit of being like a donkey. Come here. Bring as many as possible. So, Pandehi, come on, Kujaivi. Face Pandehi. Take me back to, 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 to Mark chapter 11. Give me more. I want, I want like two more. Two more. Two more. I'm preaching so that if you forget the scripture, remember what I did. One more is enough. Mark 11. Mark 11. Start just start from verse, start from verse four, verse five. Mariko kumi na moja, kwanza mstari wa kumi na moja. So they went away and found a colt tied at the door out in the winding open now, street. Now hold it. Is our colt is our donkey for today? Okay. Continue reading. Oh. So they went away and found a colt tied at the door out. In the open street, and they lose it. Uh -huh, now it's looking like a real donkey. And some who were standing there <laughs> said to them, <laughs> Aha. Some who are standing there said to them, What are you doing? They said, What are you doing? Untying the cord. Why are you untying the cord? Hold it there first. You are the one reading. Have you realized when you are struggling, nobody asks why you are struggling? As far as the donkey is tied, nobody was asking questions. Leave my donkey intact. The day you come to release the donkey, they are asking why. As far as you are poor, nobody will ask questions. The day you run, you land in your land and you are made back. Wakati unarudi ukiwa uko poa. 
the day you land in your Mercedes Maybach the day you land in your, in your latest Range Rover when they realize you are being released that's when they are asking why why is she having 10 million why is she touching 100 million why is she traveling to the US why is she doing an expensive wedding why 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 is she dressing expensively why am I communicating here people will not ask when you are suffering they begin to ask when you begin to enjoy now continue and they asked why and, and they replied as Jesus had directed them exactly uh -huh. and they allowed them to go they allowed them to go number one people will never be talking when you are suffering the day God begin to bless you people begin to say that pastor is proud where were you when I was suffering where were you when I was walking where were you when I was struggling with my rent issues where where where, where? the day things begin to change Because the yoke is being broken. But when the yoke was limiting your life, they were celebrating. Can I surprise you? People want you to go far. That is true. But don't pass them. People want you to go find life. Even your rich brother. Even your rich uncle. You can go far. Lakini usinipite. And that's why when you are struggling, you are trying, you are trying. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Keep on. Keep on. But when they realize you are beginning to threaten their level, they begin to become envious. Am I communicating here? Now continue with the reading. Sit down. Let me show you something. Kato Shabara Kataka. I received it. Uh -huh. And they brought the call to Jesus. They brought the call to Jesus. And threw their outer garments upon it. Now listen to me. Excuse me. Now watch this. Angalia. Watch this. They took their garment and placed on it. Number one. When the donkey was tied in the village, nobody cared to place anything on it. When it is cold, it will suffer in the cold. But when it came by Jesus, because of Jesus, he began to enjoy some VIP treatment. Am I communicating here? Amen. Uh -huh. People placed their lessons on it. And he sat on it. And Jesus sat on it. Na Yesu akakalia. Continue. And those and many people spread their garments on the road. People were spreading their red carpet before it. Na watu walikuwa wakitandaza maleso zao mbele yake. A donkey that was tied in a village. Ile punda ambayo ilikuwa imefungwa kijijini. Now can have a red carpet treatment. Sasa anaweza tembea hata kwenye carpet. Because he's been connected to Jesus. Kwa sababu ameunganishwa na Yesu. Before he was connected to Jesus. Kabla aunganishwa na Yesu. He was so qualified for a red carpet treatment. Anafuzu. I came to prophesy. Nimekuja kutoa unabii anybody under the sound of my voice after this service you are connected to the Messiah I see a red carpet dimension I see a red carpet dimension I see a VIP treatment because you are connected to the Messiah he shall ride on the red carpet red carpet red carpet Amen. up son Before he was brought to Jesus, he could not come near any red carpet. But when Jesus called for him, number one, he was covered with, with linen. Because you came here today, in Shalom Embassy. The Lord shall cover your wickedness, your nakedness, your shame. 
Because of your connectivity to the anointing. I see heaven covering your life. I see heaven covering your life. Shout, I receive it. When you are covered, you are favored. When you are covered, you are favored. When you are covered, you carry dimensions. Before Jesus called the donkey, nobody could allow their clothes to be put so that the donkey can step on it. But because you came here today, even people who could not help you before, they have the help but they refuse to help you after this service I prophesy they will not have peace until you are helped I want to until you are helped shout I receive it I receive it sit down for a minute chapter 2 verse 9 of First Peter we will have time tonight Am I coming yeah. When I was preaching in the crusade, I picked this revelation. Now I understand why some people are struggling when we go to eat. Because they have been in one place. There is a yoke controlling them. Once the yoke is broken, they can be free. So you can begin to eat from flesh, fresh, fresh, fresh. Amen. Am I coming again? But when you are tired, there is only the fire you can go. So you eat, you eat and you finish. You eat everything that is there. But when you are free, you eat here. The next tomorrow you are here. Today you are in Serena. The next tomorrow you are in Radisson Blue. The next tomorrow you are in Kempiske. The next tomorrow you are doing Hilton. The next tomorrow you are enjoying Mention them, Mention them, Mention them, Mention them. Lazarus fire when the donkey encountered Jesus he enjoyed favor that he was not qualified for I came to announce to somebody you are going to enjoy a favor you are not qualified for originally you are not qualified for it but by the reason of this service you are going to receive it I say you are going to receive it I say you are going to receive it I say you are going to receive it shall I receive Sit down. I see relocation happening. You have been in one place for too long. God is changing your dimension. You have lived in one bedroom for too long. You have lived in, have lived in a single room for too long. Last time you thought two bedrooms or something. You thought three bedroom is a testimony. I, I came to shift somebody. I shift you. I shift you. I shift your account. I shift your balance. I shift your car. I shift your house. I shift. God make your landlady a landlord. If you believe in what I'm talking about, I don't care those who are seated. If, if you believe in my voice, may God change your condition. I said, may God change your condition. Shall I receive it? Sit down. What does he say? But you are a chosen race, ah, a royal priesthood, that is it. a dedicated nation, ah, own God's own purchase, own purchase, special people, hey. that you may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and perfections of him who called you. That you may display. Someone say display. You know, you are not delivered to hide it. You are delivered to display. Am I talking here? Yeah. God will not give you miracle to sit down with it. 
God will give you a testimony to display. Waonyeshe. Waonyeshe. Shout fire. When you begin to wear a necklace which is gold. Don't hide it. Shanga ambazo ni za dhahabu usifiche onyesha. Display. Onyesha. Simama. Hebu ujitokeze. Onyeshe. Simama. Bele ya watu. delivered to display you are delivered to display you are free to display you are kind for display you are marriage is for display you are miracle is for display show them show them show them show them show They saw you with one phone for too long. The screen was broken. It was having power problem. It was charging with a problem. Everything was a problem. When you are delivered, God in heaven. Oh, he is God of our praise. I feel like we have a church here. There is a God in heaven who answers all of our praise. Can I hear somebody say it? Whenever we pray, he is and he answers. Hey! Whenever we generation a royal priesthood you carry royalty when you are royal you don't hide you cannot hide royalty can I talk like I feel it when you are royal you cannot hide royalty when a royal is walking everybody must say they are passing here waone ndiyo wali walio barikiwa na buwana waone ndiyo wali walio inuliwa na buwana waone ndiyo wali walio tukuka na buwana Only, only, only. Sit down for a minute. So, 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 what God is about to do is not to be hidden. They saw your problem in the public. Let them see your miracle in the public. Am I communicating here? When you delayed, they saw it. When you have speed, they must see it. When you are crying, they saw it. When you are celebrating, they must see it. Can I prophesy?
you have eaten until there's nothing left where you are umekula hadi hakuna kilichobaki mahali ulipo you are entering a fresh place unaingia upya you will eat a new diet utakula utakula kipya you, you, you have managed for a while umekuwa ukijaribu tu kwa muda you have managed for a while umekuwa ukisurvive kwa muda the season of managing is over wakati wa kuanza ku the season of managing is over msimu wa kujaribu umeisha the days when you sit with your salary you are trying to calculate how much can i give tight how much will i give papa how much can i pay my rent those days are over i serve a god who is powerful hallelujah I serve a God who is powerful. This God is a good God. Because somebody just got relocation. Kwa sababu mtu ameweza kuinuliwa. Amekuwa relocated. Kuna mtu ameweza kuhamishwa. In the job. Katika kazi yake. In the marriage. Katika ndoa yake. In the finances. Katika pesa zake. There is a relocation. Kuna kuhamishwa. As we are praising God. Tunapomsifu Mungu. As we are praising God. Tunapomsifu Mungu. A woman is getting pregnant in church. Kuna mwanamke ambaye anashika mimba hapa kanisa. I receive it. Ezekiel 37 verse 1. Let me show you something. Ezekiel 37 mstari wa kwanza. Let me show you something. Tadena no siladana. Receive it. Simronyesa imonje. Ndio imekuwa wonderful. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord uh-huh. and set me down in the midst of the valley okay. and it was full of bones uh-huh. 
Then he caused me to pass by them all around. Uh -huh. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. Uh -huh. And indeed, they were very dry. Uh -huh. Very dry. And he said to me, and he said unto me son, of man, son of man, can these bones live? Uh -huh. So I answered, and I said, Oh Lord God, you know. You're the one who knows. Again he said to me, he said unto Prophesy me. to these bones okay, now and we, say to them. Now we are starting from there. Now prophesy unto them and say unto them, O oh, dry bones, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. That says the Lord God of these bones. Uh -huh. Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, uh -huh. and you shall live. And you shall live then. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you. Okay. Cover you with skin and put breath in you. Uh -huh. And you shall live. And you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Meaning, you must showcase it. How will people know it's the Lord if they do not see it? Now continue. Let me show you something. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Like today, I will prophesy like commanded. Amen. Uh huh. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Number one, after prophecy, there must be noise. You have been wondering why. You have been wondering why. Papa prophesied. Baba, and after the prophecy na ya unabi, there was noise everywhere kelele kila noise in my workplace kelele kazini noise in my family kelele kwenye there yao. must be noise na kuwe na kelele. after a prophetic word ya neno la unabi. there cannot be quietness kuwa na there was noise na kelele. and suddenly a rattling and there was a shaking and na the kuwe. bones came together leave it there before the bones come together you see, you see the dry bones in your father's house in your mother's house in your life in your finances after a prophetic word people must talk number one and the number two there must be shaken in your workplace people must be shaken where are they shaken a prophetic person entered because, because a prophetic you have come and you don't come empty you are coming with a prophetic word so there is a noise one supervisor hates you one boss doesn't like you. There is a shaking. Because the prophetic word has been released. Allow them to talk. Immediately they finish talking, they see a joining of bones. I see bones coming back together. The dry bones will come back together. Take it from that part. He said, and after I prophesied, there was what? Sit down. So I prophesied as I was commanded. As I was commanded? And as I prophesied. As I was prophesying. There was a noise. Number one. And suddenly a rattling. And then, the bones came together. No, my, my version says, I want a version that say a shaking. There was a noise and there was a shaking. Kulikuwa na kelele na pia kulikuwa na kutingizwa. Yeah. Uh -huh, read it. I prophesied as I was commanded uh -huh. and as I prophesied there was thundering noise thundering noise and behold a shaking and trembling a shaking and a trembling and a rattling leave it there yeah. and after that there was a joining together after that the marriage was released after that your business was released after that your testimony was released listen to me there must be noise but I told you there are some baby class demons you don't listen to they make noise around the prophetic word without the noise without the shaking there cannot be promotion 
there must be a shaking so that somebody can be removed from the office so that another one can take their place until there is a shaking there is no promotion until there is a shaking there is no lifting until there is a shaking there is no miracle shout a receiver but sometimes when things shake around you you are worried Papa, there is not, everything is not stable. My work is shaking. We just give an example. My job is shaking. My relationship is shaking. Is what? Allow it to shake. Because when it shakes, that is when the dirt drops down. Until there is a shaking, there is no sieving. Until there is a shaking, there is no sieving. It must be shaken so that it can be sieved. It must be shaken so that it's purified. It must be shaken. Am I talking here? Sit down, let me show you. But it doesn't matter, regardless of the noise. Regardless of the noise, regardless of the shaking, what God said over your life is watching it to perform it. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Jeremiah 1, verse 12. How I wish I would speak French. I will say some words in French. Though there is a shaking, though there is noise, the beauty is one. The Lord is watching over his word. That prophet Robert said, so that he can perform it. Chapter 1 verse 12. Then say the Lord to me. Then says the Lord unto me. You have seen well. You have seen well. For I am alert and active. I am alert and active. Watching over my word, word to perform it. Watching over what I prophesied to perform it. It does not matter the noise. Can I prophesy like a fillet? It does not matter the shaking. It does not matter what people say. Jehovah, Jehovah watches over to perform. Can I tell you something? The marriage is still coming. The marriage is still coming. The job is coming. The promotion is coming. The lifting up is coming. When everybody says there is a casting down because we know the word of the Lord we shall say there is a lifting up because it's watching over to perform it. about the noise. Psalm 89 verse 34. 89 verse 34. So the, after prophecy there will be noise. I was told I will be soon watched on a television. And I know that one in itself will bring noise. Your before I got the TV, were you talking? Are you the one who gave it to me? Fire. I don't care the noise. I don't care the shaking. I know the one that spoke is seated somewhere and is watching. If it's one that he said will come to pass, when he say he will marry, he's watching over it. Shout yes! Nevertheless, my who is he? Hold it fast, hold it fast. Who is he that says it and it come to pass if the Lord did not declare it? Can I tell you something? If a man which 
who is a witch or a wizard can cast then a man of God can bless a man can cast a man can bless if you are under the sound of my voice and anybody cast you whether you are ex whether you are family whoever they are I start as an oracle of God and I cancel their words I reverse their words I nullify their words shout fire sit down so though there is a noise around don't worry yourself the noise is a sign that I'm, I'm anointed I carry prophetic words when you have nothing nobody talks can I ask you a simple question can a politician pass here and people keep quiet no talk back to me when I see a person who has a president 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 do you know why? Because somebody who carries something. What a pastor Because somebody who carries something is passing. When you carry a prophecy, people will not be quiet around you. Tell them power. Shout fire. Shout fire. fire. Sit down. Uh -huh. 89 verse 34. I feel I need to close. I said I'm doing three services in one. I've done the first one. I'm doing the third one. So when I finish, we are doing the fourth one. Your communion. Uh -huh. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. My loving kindness will I not break off from him. What I have said will I not. I want the version that says, My word that proceeds from now, my mouth will I not break. You understand? A version? Uh, that King James, eh? King James. Uh huh. My covenant I will not break. My covenant will I not break. Nor alter the thing that is gone out of my mouth. Nor alter anything that has come out of my mouth. That is our God. Are you following what I say? So when God has made a covenant with you and spoke over your life, wakati Mungu amefanya agano na kanena juu ya maisha yako, no amount of noise will break it. Hakuna kelele ambayo itavunja. No amount of shaking will break it. Hakuna kutingizwa ambayo kutavunja. Man of God, my relationship is not stable. Tumishi wa Mungu, uhusiano wangu haufanyi kazi. My marriage is not stable. Ndoa yangu haifanyi kazi. My job is not stable. Kazi yangu haifanyi kazi. My word will I not break. My covenant will I not break. Agano langu sitavunja. So if they like, let them shake. If they like, let them jump. If they like, let them collapse. If they like, let them die. God says, the Lord, my word will I not break. He said, I will bless. He must bless. He said, I will lift. He must lift. Lord to Jesus. Joshua 21 verse 45. Joshua. Joshua 21 verse 45. Thank you, Jesus. No word that came from God will be broken. The rest of the children of Kohath had ten cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Ephraim. Okay. From the tribe of Dan and from the half tribe of Manasseh. Mm. And the children of Gershon had thirteen cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar. Uh -huh. from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. I want a verse that says, God gave them everything he promised. Twenty-one verse forty-five. Get me a verse, a verse. Forty-five. Yes. Not a word failed of anything good which the Lord has spoken. Joshua 21 verse 5. Verse 
45. 45. Yes, that's the one I'm reading. Uh -huh. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. Leave it there. All came to pass. Not even a word. 21. Not even a word. Amen. Failed. Hakuna neno hata moja ambalo lilikosekana. Oh. Yote came to pass. Yalifanyika. I stand here as a prophet. Nasimama hapa kama nabii. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. May every word prophesied over your life. Wacha kila neno lililotolewa unabii juu ya maisha yako. May none of them fail to come to pass. Wacha lolote lile lisikose kufanyika. Even one as it were for the children of Israel. Every word prophesied over your family, over your children, over your finances, even one, let none of them fail in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet. This, this is my announcement for you. There is no even one because you carry the anointing you are a chosen generation you are a royal priesthood you are peculiar in nature you are a special personality even one word will not fail oh take it again take that verse again I love it no even what God said concerning them failed. Can I tell you somebody? If God said you are going far, it doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter whether there is a shaking or a noise. Even what? Not a word failed of not, any good which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. Not a word. Not even a word. Oh, not even a word. All came to pass. All came to pass. Yote we are going to make a prayer. Ombi. Father, there is no word. Baba, hakuna neno. Even one. Hata moja. Over my life. Juu ya yangu. Over my finances. Juu ya pesa zangu. Over my family. Juu ya yangu. Over my children. Juu ya watoto wangu. Over my career. Juu ya kazi yangu. Even one. Hata moja. That the devil is going to stop. All must come to pass. Lazima yote and I want to see you praying like you understand it. Say with me the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke. Every yoke. That has delayed my life. That has delayed my life. That has delayed my miracle. That has delayed my miracle. Every yoke. Every that has delayed my testimony. As I pray, let them be broken. Every satanic yoke in my life, in my career, in my business, let it break. Somebody say break. 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 Let up your voice and pray. Let every word that was released concerning your life, let it come to manifestation. Let no word be delayed. Let every word manifest. Let no word be delayed. broken that will fail to manifest no one that was prophesied that will fail from manifesting even one even one akuna neno iliotabukwa amaita fail kufaulu in the name of jesus no one even one Pray, 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 pray. I cannot hear you. I can't hear your voice. 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 I can't hear your voice.
Jesus mighty name we pray lift up your two hands to heaven say with me the name of Jesus or say you like to understand say the name of Jesus any evil yoke of the devil upon my life as I pray let it break I want to pray like you understand say the name of Jesus any satanic yoke upon my life break 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 